Hi, my name is Connor Hello. Davis. Uh, I'm a project manager um, from Seven Partnership. Um, I've got approximately seven years experience in the survey industry and mainly specialise in utility detection surveys. Uh, that's great. Could you give us a bit of background on Seven Partnership uh, as a whole and then the kind of the areas where you use the surveyed software? Yeah, so Seven Partnership, um, we provide geospatial solutions across a wide range of industry sectors from rail, guided transport, highways, uh, aviation and utilities. Uh, we're operating as a market leader when it comes to mobile mapping and geomatic surveying. And we try to utilize the latest technology when it comes to ensuring that our data is collected safely and efficiently and also accurate at the same time. Um, as I said, I specialize in utility, utility detection surveys with Seven Partnership. Uh, I've been surveying the underground um, at airports right at the top of Scotland, all the way down to uh, nice beaches down in Cornwall in the sunshine in the summer. Uh, surveyed, uh, we mainly tend to use it Seven Partnership um, to create our manual inspection cards um, when undertaking utility detection surveys. Manual inspection cards are a really important part of utility detection surveys. It helps our clients to actually see on site what's going on underground inside each cover and being able to provide them a nice accurate level of detail as to what's going on is great. Okay, brilliant. And uh, checking back through our correspondence, uh, I know we've been working together since 2020. If you're able to cast your mind back to before then, how would you collect all the information on site that you would then use to, to generate those manhole cards? Uh, so before on site, I spent many a year as an assistant uh, with a pen and paper and a tape measure, noting down, doing a sketch of everything, writing the directions of everything, um, which was obviously took a very long time. And if your artwork skills weren't very good, no one would be able to interpret what you'd written. Uh, then that data then would have to go back to the office and either myself or someone else would have to type that up. So they transfer everything uh, from the uh, paper copies into AutoCAD. Um, this was highly labor intensive. It took a, a long time to copy stuff over and again if there were discrepancies in your artwork and some of your notes people couldn't read it again that would cause more times more time delays and and could basically affect the data's quality uh, we obviously don't want to be sending out data to clients that is not a high quality yeah, agreed um, and do you have any idea of roughly how many manholes a month that the seven partnership would need to record uh, it varies on projects month to month. Um, in general, we, we could end up documenting anywhere between 300 and 2000 each month. Uh, it all depends on what our clients want and what projects we've got ongoing at the time. Um, if I were to take the previous methods of documenting manual cards uh, through paper copies, I'd be able to probably document and transfer across about 50 manual cards a day. However, using surveyed, I can double that and copy across and process upwards of 100 manual cards a day, uh, making it a lot more time efficient for our clients and also saving our clients money at the same time. Okay. And so what does the, the workflow process look like now using surveyed as opposed to the good old days of pen and paper? So surveyed has made stuff, as I said, a lot more streamlined, a lot more reliable, and a lot more efficient. Uh, our guys out on site can take the surveyed app. It's really easy to train them. They can learn the software within a couple of hours playing around with it. The data can then be sent back within seconds, having it being uploaded to surveyed server where I can access it, check it, make sure they've done it right. If they need to make amendments on site, they can do it straight away. It also means that we automatically generate our manual cards. So as I said, nothing is typed up anymore. There's less risk of error with things. If you, if I've noted something down on paper, someone's got to type that up. There's a chance that they could type it wrong. However, with surveyed, everything is done through the tablet and there's minimizes the chance of error for our clients. Sounds good. Um, I know you said it pretty much doubled the amount of manual cards you can do in a day. Has there been any sort of comparisons on any other large jobs that you've done 
to compare how it works with surveyed than against the the old ways of doing things uh, when we first started using surveyed um, our initial reason why we want to do it is because we run a very large scale project at a major city in the uk this involves a uh, utility survey across nearly 10 miles of highway uh, which wow. was probably around 5,000 man manhole covers i think we lifted over the entire extent of it so through a city center very very congested drawing as you can imagine um and we wanted to try and speed that up for our client because if we were going to go around and document 5,000 man manhole covers on pen and paper it's just not a cost effective way of going of doing things and as i said the increased chance of getting something wrong um we could be could be catastrophic if they're going to go and break down, break ground and we've got something wrong on our drawing we want to make it as accurate as possible for the client uh, so by having surveyed it enabled us to halve the time we were spent processing the data for them so we could turn it around a lot quicker excellent and back um, at the early days when we started working together i know uh, you opted to have your own custom version of the app made and yeah. i was working with yourself and some other surveyors uh, to, to build the initial version and then you field tested it and we um, went back and forth with feedback until you were happy uh, when the time came to roll that out to the wider company uh, how was it received by the other surveyors that, that hadn't been familiar with that process before? Uh, very well, <laughs> probably the best way to sum it up. Um, it was something that a lot of our team had requested for a while, getting away from the paper cards into a more digital way of documenting things. And it was something that I was keen to implement as a project manager, having seen it working up through assistant levels and surveyor levels. Um, we initially trial versions of the software um, and sent teams out to test the app. It took a few weeks to tweak it and get it to how we want it to get, how we want it to be. Um, however, now I feel we've got an application that more than suits our needs. And should we also need to tweak anything or change anything more to tailor things more to our clients? We're not limited to one thing. We can still modify and change things. Uh, surveyed, I've got a really reliable customer service where the, I know that I can contact them and they can provide me the changes that I need uh, to provide the benefits onto our clients. Okay. And lastly then, so what has been the effect on you and your team of this increased productivity? If you can do double the amount of manhole cards in the same amount of time, does that then free up resources and surveyors to do uh, other jobs that they they would normally be spending doing CAD drawings and things like that. Absolutely, yeah. So, um, what it hasn't changed much is in terms of the site work. It still takes the same amount of time to document those covers on site as it would do with pen and paper. Um, however, because it's half the office processing time, um, we're able to again process more work during the course of a week. If if a job takes would have taken five days to process, we can now process it in about two and a half days, two days, and also have those spare days to either provide more training for people um, or to uh, process other projects um, for our clients. Yeah, definitely. Well, that all sounds really good. Uh, it's nice for me to hear that surveys is having such a um, useful uh, effect on your day-to-day -day operations. So thanks very much, Connor, for taking a bit of time out to have a chat today. Uh, we'll leave you at that. And I look forward to carrying on working with you with the future. And... Um, Maybe we'll improve the app even more. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you.